Hey guys, I'm Shardell Moore and welcome to Be More Lifestyle and Happy Thanksgiving! Yes! Shout out to our audience in the building. Love you guys. Yes! Okay guys, so today we're helping you take care of those eyebrows and we're showing you another way to celebrate the season. But first, let's see what Denny has cooking. What's up, Christina? Hey, Char. So our pet lovers and owners out there know the infamous may I have some look. We all get it from all of our pets, cats or dogs. And you're probably going to see those faces today, but this year your dog or cat can enjoy a tasty Thanksgiving meal too. I'm so excited. I know your pets are excited too. Here to walk us through the recipes is Dana Humphrey, the pet lady. Welcome. Thank you. Thank yes. Thank you so much for being with us. This is exciting. We can finally include our pets. Absolutely. <laughs> so there's some really fun recipes that are safe yeah. for your pets that you can cook at home. Um, so if you have your dog in mind, you can mm -hmm. always make them some Bow Wow Brownies. Oh, that's um, cute. <laughs> Arden Moore wrote the Real Food for Dogs cooking book. And, you know, chocolate can be deadly for dogs. So sure. the Bow Wow Brownies have no chocolate, just carob. Oh, interesting. Great okay. alternative um, because that has, uh, the chocolate has theobromine, which you don't want to get involved. Mm. Is that toxic for dogs? It is. Gotcha. Yep. You don't want to spend your Thanksgiving in the ER. Oh, no way. In the, uh, in the vet <laughs> hospital. Right. So something fun that we have to make cats today is perfect tuna patties. Oh, I love it so much. And now, remind us before we get into this, why it's so important that we do not give our pets table food. Because we might think, oh, turkey, it's fine. Sure. Well, pets have allergies and also, you know, you want to give them food that's good for them. Right. Um, you are going to be having lots of relatives over. You want to mm -hmm. encourage them to refrain from feeding your dog and cat. Certain things like raisins, mm -hmm. onions, turkey, you know, it's just really not good for your pet. Gotcha. Um, no bones. You know, bones oh, yeah. can be really bad for their internal organs and their internal systems. And they can be so um, small too, you might not even notice them. Exactly. So you definitely want to make things that, you know, are approved for them and their palate. Um, so I'm going to do this uh, little tuna recipe here. Okay, perfect. Um, Talk us through it. You start with two eggs okay. and um, just whip those up and then you're going to mix in your tuna, which I've already opened here. And this is just a regular, regular can of tuna. Mm -hmm. um, you can just put that in there. Oh, my cat is going to be beside himself. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and then you add some breadcrumbs. Okay, so we did two eggs, one yep. can of tuna, about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And are there specific types of breadcrumbs we should be working with? Um, you know, the recipe just calls for regular breadcrumbs. Okay. You don't want to go too crazy with that, sure. but could have put a little more tuna in here. Okay. And then we don't have a skillet here, but you gotcha. are going to put some margarine in the pan. Okay. Um, and once you're ready to go, you're going to take a little dollop and just fry it in there, wait till it's golden brown, and mm. then serve. I would eat this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can also add a little salt for flavoring, not too much salt, sure. of course, and a little bit of brewer's yeast here. And um, as you can see, it looks really yummy. It smells yeah. really good, too. Um, it's perfectly healthy for your cat to enjoy. They're probably going to be coming, meowing around, checking out <laughs> what you have going on. Um, and then you're just going to fry it up and, and add it in. Oh, that's and so easy. For another little, you know, extra, you can always put it in a treat ball. This is um, from oh, Petite. Fun. It's a Pommy treat ball. So you could put it in there maybe while you're having the Thanksgiving meal. Right. They can play around with that, keep them busy, keep them entertained, have a healthy snack. Oh, that's so cool. Make them work for it a little bit. <laughs> Make them work for it, exactly. Um, so you can scoop some in there, or you could also put a couple drops of CBD on top. Oh, this is great. I have a very anxious dog at home. He yeah. barks and he does not like company. Yeah, so if you have that going on, you have the, the anxious barking, maybe your cat is panting or really not excited that so many guests are coming over. Right. Um, you know, you, you want to give like two to three drops um, for up to a 20 pound dog or cat. And again, you can just put this right on the tuna patty. You could put this on their food. Yeah. Um, if you don't have time for cook to cook for your pets on Thanksgiving, in addition to the meal you're creating, <laughs> you can always get a treat that's already, you know, done, done and good to go, like an under the sea bite. Um, these are really yummy. And you can just put it on top. It's a little nugget. Oh, perfect. Give it with the CBD. This is from Piranha Pets. 
And um, that's great. They'll have time to chill and relax on their Thanksgiving without the trip to fan. Exactly. They're going to love this. And you also sent us another recipe for meatballs. Tell us yes. just a little bit about that. Yes, the marvelous Muppy meatballs are really yummy as well. That's in the Real Food for Dogs cookbook. Um, you can check that out. It's beef um, with cheddar, some carrots, again with some breadcrumbs and some eggs. Um, so those are fun to share for you and your pet. Maybe also if you have a kid's table at your party, right. you can have some Mutt meatballs for the dogs and the kids can share as well. Oh, that's so fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us. Our pets are going to feast today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And where can we find you? You can learn more at thepetlady.net. Thank you so much, Dana. Thank you. So much fun. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, if you want to go.